Good day guys, MF West here, and today I'm going to go right into the action. I just want to explain to you guys um, and show you the raw power of Unholy Death Knight right now and give you some tips and tricks that I've been learning in Arena. Alright, so right now we're playing against a Unholy Death Knight and Havoc Demon Hunter. I'm going to slow it down here just to prove you guys a point. Please never do what this Unholy Death Knight's doing, opening up with AMS. We are pretty bad defensively right now, but we're actually quite strong if we can chain our defensive cooldowns. Do not just pop AMS at the start of the fight. Now see that the Havoc Demon Hunter just jumped on us. I used IBF before he landed. That is a good use of using defensive cooldown to stay on the target. See now this now this DK, he's got no AMS, his IBS is probably up, he hasn't corpse shielded yet. And he's just gonna get absolutely chunked. While I look at my HP, I still have corpse shield, I'm in a very good situation. I like keeping corpse shield uh, available because demon hunters right now are very strong. But yeah guys, please do not be that guy that just runs into arena and pops a defensive cooldown. Please. Alright guys, so a lot of people have been asking me, how do you beat demon hunters? They're really OP right now, and yeah they are. But I'm going to teach you guys with this decent clip, a clip of how to beat a demon hunter. So I'm playing with a survival hunter, I'm playing against an affliction warlock and a demon hunter. I'm going to use my typical rotation of getting 5-6 to six wounds on the warlock, soul reaping and then apocalypsing. That's going to absolutely chunk the shit out of him, watch the recount. While my gargoyle is hitting him as well, and I use pet sponge during one of his casts. He is going down, and... Yeah, so I've only got Corpse Shield up here, and he's this, this Demon Hunter is going to absolutely rape my Hunter. And honestly, there's not much card on play, it's just ridiculous. So, here's how the duel's going to go down, guys. He's going to be full HP, I have Corpse Shield, that's my one defensive up. So, the duel's going to be like, when he pops Metamorphosis and he's Killing Spring, you have to stay away from him. He, you cannot, you cannot go toe-to-toe -to -toe with a, de um, a Demon Hunter in Metamorphosis. It is ridiculous. So, I just re my pet here, guys, very important. And now I see that he's on top of me, so I Corpse Shield. Watch my pet corpse shield just get absolutely mutilated right here. Um, so I'm just trying to absorb, try and tank him as much as possible till his metamorphosis is down. And you're going to see the duel completely change. Look, so now his metamorphosis is down now. And now watch the duel just change. I can now hit him with my death strikes. There is no point in death striking, guys, when he's um, in metamorphosis and killing spring around the place. Now look at it. I'm on 50%. I'm death striking him for 100k of a death strike and it's overs. Alright guys, another clip against a Demon Hunter, my partner's going to die quite quickly and it's going to be me against, well, kind of like a 1v2 against the uh, Warrior and Demon Hunter. Um, so yeah, basically guys, I'm going to reiterate it, Kite, the Metamorphosis and the Killing Spree, once that drops down, you can fight him toe-to-toe, -to -toe. he's not going to beat you. Your healing with, with um, Death Strike is just too retarded. So we dropped the um, Demon Hunter quite low here, but look, he's going to do a, quite a neat trick there. He, um, disengaged over to the wall and then shadow molds and I get fit over there and I'm going to trinket for it. Um, still on cooldown. So the warrior is here with retaliation up. I'm going to switch to him. Very important that we get the killing blow here. We're obviously going to get the killing blow. And I'm going to, yep, he's dead. Now I'm going to death strike this demon hunter. And now this demon hunter is not as good, um, personally from the other one that you just saw in the last duel because he's not using his killing spree as effectively. He is in Metamorphosis right now, but I'm actually fighting him toe-to-toe -to -toe because he's not actually dodging any of my abilities. Gonna drop me quite low here. I've got no pet to summon, so I'm just gonna kite and rely on Death Strike. And he gives me a decent amount of space, which is absolutely fine. He actually goes down there. Alright guys, I just want to show you this other unique little clip that I did of a 1v2. Um, why I'm showing you so many 1v2 clips is to show you that we have the power to 1v2. We're not like an, a really bad class. We're in quite a good position if you watched my last video, you'll see why. Um, okay, so going on the Feral Druid here, my teammate just got absolutely wrecked. So this Feral Druid is going to sit in bear form. And check these Frenzy um, Regeneration heals. It was just pissing me right off. <laughs> I wish I could show you the fucking audio, but... Alright, I'm going to get him down here, guys. And this Hunter's just hitting me for free. So I've got Corpse Shield up. I need to save the Corpse Shield for the Hunter. Um, but I actually can't. I decide to use it here to try and stay up. And yeah, there goes the Barrage. So there goes my pet. I'm going to switch to the Hunter now here, guys. Now, BM Hunters, you should have no problems with them. Why? We just counter them in every way. Alright, I guess. So, basically, every time the, the Hunter disengages, as he does now, Death Grip him back. That is, that's just complete counterplay. Um, you're going to slow him down with your debilitating infestation and chains of ice. Now, the Hunter gets very far away from me here, so I don't mind. I go behind this pillar and I start Death Striking off his pets. Uh, so basically right now I'm trying to get as much HP back as possible and I'm actually getting more HP back than he is dealing with his pets. So this is actually perfect. My pet, I can summon him up right now. So I'm going to summon my pet. Now make sure guys when the hunter is actually out of range you can use your pet immobilization as well when he's empowered. Make sure he's empowered. 
So I'm going to connect with the hunter here, he disengages, I pull him back again. Um, <laughs> and whenever the hunter gets out of reach, I'm going to turn and hit the pet with a death strike. If I can't hit anything, then I'm going to turn and hit the pet. So just complete counterplay here guys, see I'm going to turn on the pet here. On his pets and death strike and my HP is very comfortable. So now he's getting quite far away from me, I'm going to use my pet mobilization, there I use it and I gain some ground. And then he disengages behind the pillar and right now guys, it's pretty much over. I'm actually going to death strike his pet one more time I think. And yeah, I'm on top of him, GG. This clip's for all the haters out there on Unholy Death Knights. This channel basically is to show you guys that Unholy Death Knights, however bad they are, they will always be strong in a unique way. This is a 3v3, but guess what, there's only two of us, and we're going to absolutely rape this team. Alright, Boomkin is not expecting my damage here, ready? Here it comes, they're all on me right now, I'm going to AMS, so I've got a lot of the, um, my honor talent healing me. Boom, quarter HP, almost dead. I'm going to connect with him here, I'm going to pet stun him into um, spamming of Chlorine Shadows with 21% haste. Bam, done. Death Strike, next target, back to full HP. This feral drill doesn't even know what the fuck's happening, and bam, he's dead. And yeah, the mage's fate is pretty, it's pretty uh, determined what's going to happen to this mage, guys. G fucking G. Alright guys, I've left the best clip for last. I hope you guys have watched till the end here. Um, this is going to be a 1v2 against a Shadow Priest and Rep Paladin, who's super try hard to try and beat me in a 1v2 situation. Well, of course, you don't want to lose, right? My partner's going to die quite fast here, guys, but um, I just want you to see the power of Unholy Death Knights and how well you can counterplay if you know how to. I'm going to say my goodbyes here, guys. Please like and sub if you like this clip. Specifically, if you like this clip and how it shows Unholy Power, like and sub, guys. Love you guys. Peace out. Oh, he's joining me this time. Okay. Um. Bopped him. I'm gonna do my ability as well now. Wow, oh, I'm getting absolutely raped. What is that damage? Holy shit. That was ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, you gotta try and pop your abilities. Your defensive I abilities. I waited for him to get, to get um, hand of protection. They're really try hiding, holy fuck. Yeah, you're dead. Shit! Come back. Oh my oh. 